Brian, what we've got here is a 2025 uh, 300XC. A um, couple notable changes this year on the bike, and then we'll go through kind of just what, what differentiates this bike versus the XCWs or other bikes out there. Probably the thing that most people are going to notice this year is the changes to the frame. They did put a bit of a hole in there. They they created this 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 triangle here to create some chassis flex. Um, everyone knows that one of the reasons that KTM uses a steel frame is to have controlled flex on their bikes. Um, when you put an aluminum frame on a bike, it's so rigid and stiff that it can snap on you, and it doesn't it doesn't really deliver that power in a controlled way, especially when you're coming out of a corner. So after a little bit of feedback that the this generation frame was a little bit too uh, too stiff and unyielding they did put that in there to try to, to give it a little bit of chassis flex so we see that other than that um, not a whole lot different than this year you will see some subtle differences in body work here you've got just a little bit of a support between the upper and middle part of the of the uh, tank spoiler they also made some changes down here just by putting a couple different pieces on here I do believe that the 23 and 24 XC bodywork will still fit 25s and vice versa. So as you're looking for body work, I haven't really seen any connection points change there, just a little bit of the structure within it. Um, they did uh, carry through with what we've talked about on a lot of their bikes with that new black theme coming in. Obviously, mm -hmm. um, you've got black up here in the tank spoilers as always, but that black seat, still the same kind of construction as they did in the last couple of years. But boy, does that black look yeah, beautiful. Nice, um, so. Fantastic. They've maintained the shorty pipe for those who are shorty yes. pipe fans. Um, and I know there's those folks that do not want a full length <laughs> pipe on there, that's for sure. Um, let's talk a little bit about what makes this bike special. Um, everyone has, has seen all the videos and information about how relative to the XCWs or TEs or ECs in the gas gas line, um, that this has an extra eight horsepower. Uh, that's, that's real. This bike is rowdy. I don't know how else to, to describe it. Um, green map on this one you better be holding on um, I think what, what's so interesting about this bike is the flexibility it has um, it has top-end power that will rival in my opinion the old carb bikes with a lot more bottom end tractability um, but you can still ride this thing soft if you'd like um, I, I really have no problems riding it on single track and rocking technical single track um, those who are much more skilled than me will definitely do it better than I but um, typically Bikes that are set up too aggressively give me problems on on real technical single track, and I have no problems on my XC. Um, so you do get a you do get a lot of control power. The top end rush on this thing is unbelievable. Um, yeah. So uh, this is this is really a great bike. It is a pre mixed bike that will maintain. <laughs> Sorry, say hi to Summit. Um, so. Uh, um, this thing will maintain itself as a, as a premix bike, 60 to 1 for 2025. There's no change there, no change to the pipe. Um, gear ratio is still the same. I mean, you might notice things like they've moved to black sprockets. That is a difference um, on the 25s as well. Your counter shaft sprockets black, as is your, uh, your rear sp sprocket. But I believe there's still a 1449 on here as they've been set up uh, the past few years. So a lot of consistency here, um, just updates and what continues to be a fantastic bike. I think there was a lot of excitement this past year when the XCW was updated with its oil injection system to a TBI platform. Um, but for those who really want an all out three, two stroke rush um, in an enduro bike, uh, this is the bike. Ooh, this is the bike. Yeah, so, um, so yeah, big fans still out there, that's for sure. Absolutely, really love the orange on here it's it looks really good in person really like this bike my personal uh thoughts on this bike hands down probably the most lively uh, entertaining fun exciting motor i've ever ridden um i love this bike i you know have the uh, previous couple of years model the 23 absolutely love it i um, mean this bike has so much grunt so much pull so much power hill climbs like no bike i've ever ridden just absolutely love it so uh once again man lee you have anything else to add i don't think so i mean um for those those looking for an xc this is this is definitely a different bike this is for someone who's going to really ride a combination of tight and twisty mm -hmm. as well as a little bit of open country on this as well i'll tell you something interesting um especially with the the popularity now of the 300 sx or now the new tc 300 in the husky lineup um, I've got folks who like to get on a track now and again, and they say, give me an enduro two-stroke that I can take to the track. With its long travel, linkage suspension, closed cartridge fork, and just that grunt to hit that double, um, this bike pulls a lot, of, 
a lot of double duty out there. So it checks a lot of boxes for a lot of folks. Absolutely. The versatility is incredible. I know guys who have 23s and 24s that ride strictly hard enduro on them. No complaints. They love them. They've uh, worked some different things out with staters and fans to make that happen, but they just love these bikes. Um, Got to say, probably uh, if I could only pick one bike, I think it would be a 300 XC. That's how much I love them as well. Awesome bikes. Lee, once again, thanks again, bud. This bike is awesome. Thanks for showing us all the new updates and explaining the frame to us. And uh, once again, guys, if you need or are looking for a 300 XC, they've got 24 models left over, I believe, a little bit, and they've got the 25s. Oh, I'm almost gone, man. Almost gone. All right, so we're to 25. So um, it doesn't seem like KTM's maybe making as many bikes this year as they did last year. So if you're looking for something, especially those hard enduros, they're limited, or these 300 XCs, come and give Mountain Dirty a look. Thanks a lot, guys, and thanks for watching. Let us know what you think of this bike in the comments. Uh, we always love to hear your opinion.